Okay, this is Mortarizer here, and welcome to my first Pokemon Wi Fi battle that I actually trainers. recorded. It's time and to think about a cautious battle well, strategy. Not that I suck or anything, but it's just that sometimes I just can't get things right. And now, but, okay, begins. so I start off with my Sand Slash, who is not your typical Sand Slash. I, I attempt to counter expecting a physical move, move but so um, didn't go how I expected. I still lasted the hit though. I wasn't sure to go into Gardevoir or Driftblim because they're both the specially defensive. I decided to go to Driftblim just for the fact that he has more HP. So I send him out and Blaze can use a Sky Uppercut, which I didn't really expect. Um, but that was. That, that that was a poor choice for his part, because it didn't really do anything to any of my Pokemon. Because my Sand Slash is defensive and my Guard War is also Psychic type. And yeah, of course Zirflum's Ghost type, so he's immune. He's also Flying type, which is ironic. But so then he uses Flamethrower, which seems to be like his own only option. I, I'm glad I didn't get Burn Hacks. I Destiny Bonded in case he switches. Cause I'm expecting a switch, but I, I just Shadow Ball to hopefully scare him out. Yeah, because get some damage off, because he doesn't really look like he could do anything. And while I Destiny Bonded, he will probably not attack. And that's exactly what he did. He used Slash, which doesn't affect me of course. Probably just to make sure that he doesn't accidentally kill me, because he's afraid. To activate this. So it does le uh, well less than half, so that's not gonna kill him. But um, he decides to switch out, and he switches out onto his Wailord. Speaking of which, they're all in Master Balls. So while you Shadow Ball, it does a big chunk of its HP despite having much more HP than your. So with that, I endure in case it uses some overpowered move. I mean, just uh, just to be safe. So I endure, like I said. And Waylord uses Surf, which I did not really expect. But actually, I did expect it. I was either expecting that or Water Spout. They used Surf and it barely did anything. That's what I didn't expect. Man, I'm confusing myself. So I use Explosion just to pretty much annihilate the Waylord. It's a threat to me. So with the Explosion, I completely demolish it and it dies. That was pretty simple. Despite the fact that, yeah, I lost my Drift I have two more Pokemon left and I have a slight disadvantage, but Gardevoir can easily take out the Blaziken with Psychic. Ooh, spoilers. Anyway, so I switch into Gardevoir. And they switch into Blaziken. What luck. So... Yeah, I choose Blaze, of of Anyways, so I decide to wish because... Just to take advantage of the situation. Wish absorbed the. For some reason, they use Sky Uppercut. I don't know why. They probably expect me to have really low defenses, which is typical for a Guard War, but I trained it for 252 EVs and um, defense and HP. And it has a calm nature. Don't ask why, but it's supposed to last some hits. At least so it could ta torment an Encore, which you will see how well it works. And I after I kill the blade psychic. And other than that, my guard war also has a lot of speed IVs for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, it doesn't really have need the speed, but it has it anyways. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but yeah. So Wish is very useful for support. And the last Pokemon is Electabuzz. So with that, I try out my Torment Encore strategy. Because first of all, Torment is actually a really good move. Because it gets it make forces them to use a move other than their best move. Which is apparently Thunder. I don't know why they have Thunder. 
I'm glad I didn't get Parahax. Oh wait, no, I did. Forgot. Curses. Oh well, I torment anyways. And of course they hit again here. Usually when I get Parahax, I get paralyzed right after. That's how cheap it is for me. Maybe I should upload one of those videos. Oh well. So, now that I'm paralyzed, but they are now tormented so they can't use thunder again. So, they for some reason have thunder punch. I don't know what's up with this person's moveset. Uh, well, critical it, what a coincidence. But I still last it, and Citrus Berry is there to make sure I last some more hit. So I encore thunder punch, which is... Which pretty much makes me win the game. I mean, I have Sand Slash left, who's ground type. Now they're and because it's tormented, they're going to have to struggle now. That's the strategy for Guard Pool. Screw Pokemon over. Just like my Dust Clop, which you couldn't see because I kind of cut off the beginning. Sorry, but uh, yeah, for most of my videos, I don't. I was, that was just a late reply. Oh, it took me a while. I decided to focus punch because, of course, it's kind of my strongest attack, and they can't do anything because they have thunder punch. Now that's strategy right there. Oh well. If you're wondering why my sand slash has focus punch, is oh wow, got static. Anyways, it's because of the fact that most leads have like taunt and stuff, and they expect me to have stealth rock. Focus Punch is really useful when they don't attack. Oh well, that's it for this battle. I'm actually, it's surprising that I won. Expect more battles later on. Alright, later.